This video today is about shower caps. So in one of my recent videos, I was doing, what was the video about? I think it was how I preserve my curls and in the video I also mentioned that I was looking to get a new shower cap because the one that I had was one too small and two, it um, smelled like mildew and stuff. So I decided to go out and I forgot the name of it. So I decided to hop on Amazon like I do best and I purchased a new shower cap that will fit. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's the four year lock mark where your locks just start like to really really grow or I just didn't notice it because my hair is always curly and it takes up most of the length of my hair. But I washed my hair a few days ago and I realized that most of my locks are now waist length they're like the top of my waist area right now and I didn't I did not even notice it I don't know what happened I don't know if I seriously don't even know if that happened overnight but it makes a lot of sense why I've been having so much difficulty putting on that shower cap I realized my hair was growing but I didn't realize it grew that much so I needed a new shower cap for the mildew thing and the fact that my hair is a lot longer now and it, it can't be stuffed under that tiny little shower cap I had before. So I was looking for some I was looking for some shower caps um, on Amazon and I was having a difficult time finding the jumbo ones. The jumbo ones that they kept claiming was all big and jumbo were the same size of the same small one that I had. So I needed something that was specifically marketed towards long dreadlocks, long braids, and twists. Um, I couldn't find any good ones on Amazon so I hopped on YouTube and I kept seeing these same two retailers that had the shower caps on sale that a lot of the lock youtubers from the past did like reviews on and some of this stuff were cute um but the prices wasn't worth it to me in my opinion for you just to buy like a plastic cap just to put over your head in the shower i was seeing things along the lines of like 22 dollars 26 dollars some i was seeing in the 30s and i'm like not for a shower cap you can get a shower cap at your local beauty supply store for only 99 cents just because you need it a little bigger does not mean that you need to increase it by 28 dollars that's just me that's all i'm saying so i went back on amazon and i was looking through everything on Amazon. I'm like, I am going to find me a shower cap. And I did. I found one. I looked at the reviews. All the reviews were good. I saw pictures of people with really long box braids, really long twists in their hair. And I was like, this is probably going to be my go-to shower cap for now. So with all of that said, so the name of it is the Donna Premium Collection Super Jumbo Shower Cap. And I got this for $8. And with my Amazon Prime, I didn't even have to pay for shipping. Okay, so I'm not promoting Amazon here. But anyways, so although it's a little bit pricey than what you would get for your normal shower cap in your beauty supply store, it was way better than $32. So here it is. I have tried it out for a week to see what I have to say about it before I give you the review on it because I wanted to actually use it, use it before anything. And I have to say that I've had a good experience with it so far. Usually I would put on my hair bonnet first, which I need to get a new one for that. So once I find a new one, I will give a review on that too. And then I would usually slip this over it. I just used this so it's kind of wet right now, but I'll just do it like this for now. It's huge! So it's a nice, decent size. And the one thing about it, if I don't put these things over my ears when I get in the shower, 
the water can seep through the back. Yeah, the water can seep through the back if I don't put the section over my ears. If I just leave it like this, like the water somehow gets in. But if I put it all underneath it, everything is fine. And it's, it's really big, so it can get any type of length of hair in there. Which, again, is awesome. Um, Sub Atreyu. Um, from his channel I just gave him a shout out recently in another video he was telling me that the best way to avoid the mildew smell is by not actually hanging it up but to actually like, place it down on a surface um, I guess some, some there's some science behind the reason why that happens like at over time even if you are washing it and hanging it up the water still stays in there and it actually doesn't get out so I'm going to try and remember to do that lay it flat and see if that works so it doesn't get that mildew smell because I don't want to be buying a new one in like the next year but so far this has been working great I can when I'm doing my perm rod set um, they can securely fit under here with no problem at all and that was the biggest issue I was having with my other shower cap that was a little on the tinier side so very very good so just in case you guys are interested in getting a shower cap for your dreadlocks or your braids or your twist and you want to preserve your style much longer than normal because I know I do I like to keep my curls in for at least two weeks before I redo them again so I don't need them getting wet in the meantime so these are a must for me in my life I need shower caps so I hope this review found it helpful um, this is an affordable shower cap and um, it probably isn't the cutest thing in the world but it still gets the job done and and most importantly guys I found it in purple Alright, thank you so much for watching, perps. I will catch you in the next video. Bye! You guys see that? Actually, it looks better on camera than it does in person. Ooh.